What's going on YouTube? It's First True Review back in here for another video. Um, today, I have something that you know what has been in the mall for a long time apparently and I had no idea. I think my brain just phased it out because I'd never seen anyone there. But I have Charlie's Philly cheesesteaks or cheesesteaks, something like that. And I thought, you know what? Since this just went under my radar for the longest time, let me get it. So right here, I have buffalo chicken uh, sandwich or buffalo chicken. It looks like a sub to be honest with you, but it's a buffalo chicken cheesesteak, I guess. And we got the fries because I wanted fries to have not eaten all day. And before we get started, like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything helps, leave a comment down below if anything you want me to try out or any topics you want me to talk about, down to do it. Let's start off with a fry. So... Oh, okay. That's pretty good. It's not overly salty. It's got a nice crunch to it. A pretty good potato ratio going on here too. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Going for a bite with the steak. Here it is, upside down, but whatever. Okay. That's not too bad either. I'll be honest with you. It just tastes like a sub. <laughs> but I think it's just like a chicken. I didn't really get a like a cheesesteak or anything like that. So I'll definitely go back and get a cheesesteak. But anytime I see buffalo chicken, I'm like, I have to go buffalo chicken. That's my favorite thing. Anyway, so how's your guys' uh, day today? Mine wasn't too bad. Just got back from work, so I'll make a video. The other day I saw a movie that I really wanted to see for a while because it was talked about for so long. And it finally came to theaters and I finally got to see it. I didn't get to see it at TIFF, but I got to see it now. And that movie is The Whale. So, The Whale is, I guess, it's a, it's a drama that tackles a, a morbidly obese uh, Brendan Fraser, like, in his final, in his, like, last week of life. In that last week of life, he kind of tries to, um, and in that last week of life, he tries to mend the relationship with his daughter because he was outside, out of his daughter's life for a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and say this. This, this is going to have spoilers in it because I got a lot to say about it. I was supposed to write it down, but I forgot, but. So. Oh. Like I said, Brendan Fraser plays a character named Charlie, and Charlie is basically this man who's morbidly obese because he lost his uh, his partner, right? He lost his partner, and that just led him into a depressive cycle of just eating, 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 hating himself, hating his image, and everything. Right? And then it comes time to the point where he's in his final uh, final week, where his nurse, who's his friend, but also his sister-in-law, I guess, his partner was a uh, was a guy who like died, and the nurse who takes care of him is that guy's sister. So in trying to um, live his last uh, his last days, he is trying to reconnect with his daughter, and it is to his own detriment because everyone is telling him, "Oh, go to the doctor, go to the doctor, go to the doctor, go to the doctor," and he doesn't want to, right? And it's because he claims that he doesn't have enough money to do it. So there, this cast is really small. There's like five people, if we include like. Dan, the doorman or the pizza guy. And it takes place in his house. Right? And the lead actor is Brendan Fraser, of course. And I think the only other person I know is Sadie. I think her name is Sadie Singh. She's the daughter. And basically, she's super angry at Brendan Fraser because he left her when she was eight to go be with this guy. So. 
of these fries are really good. That's the premise of the movie. Basically, he left his family. He left his daughter when she was eight years old. He went uh, to be with this guy, and the guy ended up dying, and then he just became more blue obese because he was depressed. And now he's dying. Well, let's tackle the cons first because the movie is getting mixed reviews, and I can definitely see why the movie is getting mixed reviews. And for me, there's two reasons why it's not as great as it could have been. The first is that the movie was very surface level. It just goes into Charlie, and he's being fat, and it's outlining his like last days. It shows like the stress he's going through in those last days with trying to like talk to his daughter and trying to deal with this like missionary who comes and then trying to deal with his friend Liz, who's also his nurse. He goes through episodes of eating, all that stuff. So, I feel like the movie could have benefited greatly if it showed how he got into that depressive state. Because all we know in the movie is that this guy died, right? His boyfriend died. I'm assuming he killed himself, but like his sister seems to think, who's the nurse, seems to think that he was killed. That isn't looked upon anymore. That isn't explored anymore. When I really think it should have been explored more. And it does a very surface level job of talking about how this affected him. It's just basically like this guy died, he's depressed, he ate. I feel like the movie would have also benefited greatly if showing, showing that he died or showing like what happened up until the point where we are in the movie, even if it was like a brief clip or even if it was like a flashback, like a 10 minute flashback, I think that would have benefited the movie greatly because it would have went deeper into the psychological trauma that he was dealing with, right? Because y'all know this tra trauma takes place in like different forms, can affect people differently. I think it would have been in interesting to see how it affected him and how he came to be how he is now. And even that, it didn't really explain or dive into anyone else's trauma. It didn't dive into Liz. It didn't dive into like uh, Ellie, which is daughter or the wife. It didn't dive into anything. It was, everything was like surface level just in that moment. Another thing, a lot of the movie and how it deals with fat phobia, I feel is very embellished. For example, Dan the pizza guy always comes like, always comes and delivers on pizza, I'm assuming every day or every other day. Always every day because that was falling every day. And he never actually got to see Charlie until like the end. And what he did was leave the pizza outside, which is what Charlie always wants him to do. And then he stood there at the end of the porch, waited for Charlie to come outside. And then Dan saw him. And any regular per well, first of all, a regular person wouldn't do that, but any regular person would see him and just be like, oh, that's what you look like, or hey, Charlie, or whatever it may be, right? Instead, he looked at him, was like shocked or whatever, and then ran away. It's like, no one is looking at someone who's morbidly obese and being shocked and running away. No one, there, okay, so there are people who definitely do think people who are morbidly obese are disgusting. However, there are not many people who would openly say it to your face right and i feel like this movie may seem like there are at least in my personal experience i don't know anyone who would openly go up to an obese person and be like you're disgusting i don't want to be around you because you're disgusting i don't want to see you because you're disgusting i feel like that's how charlie looks at himself i feel like he sees himself as disgusting so he assumes other people wouldn't want to see him and even at the end of the movie when he showed himself to his class people looked shocked look shot because he's morbidly obese like it, people are obese people like have conditions people like get big that's something to gawk at that's something to be like oh my god you're big oh my goodness like i feel like that was just exaggerated heavily heavily and the daughter i feel like she was exaggerated heavy too at least her lines she portrayed her she portrayed her character really well i mean like a 16 year old girl being like edgy and all that stuff but i feel like her lines and how she was acting was very embellished too because no one's going up to their going up to their dad being like you're fat i hate you f you this 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 is that like i mean i'm sure there are kids like that but it's like 
come on. Like, when I was watching the movie, I'm like, this is very, this is a little unrealistic. But, I feel like that's just that's a script problem. It's not really her problem. It's not like she makes the lines and what she says, right? Other than that, I uh, don't really have too many cons about it, but those are some like, pretty big cons that brought down for me because those are like, like things that were like, unrealistic to me, right? Um, the good, there's a lot of good about the movie. Like the movie, Brendan Fraser did an incredible job. Everyone in the, everyone in the movie did a good job. Like no one did a poor job. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the movie references Moby Dick, right? It's called The Whale. He's listening to a story at the beginning that his daughter wrote when she was eight years old because I guess he really likes it. They, don't really, they, touch, they briefly touch on that too, but I guess he really likes it and reminds them of his like daughter. So he reads it, right? And it's interesting to me because to my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong, but there are a lot of different interpretations for Moby Dick. And I feel like one interpretation for Moby Dick is that the whale is something that he fears. So it's something that he becomes obsessed with and wants to conquer, right? And he wants to conquer that feeling for himself. It's very self-serving ambition, right? That he wants to do. And that's key right there, self-serving, because I feel like a lot of people in the movie parallel that narrative, right? So everyone in the movie, except for Liz, I can't, I didn't really think about her too much, but everyone in the movie does something that's self-serving. We'll start off with the daughter because the daughter only comes around initially to get her paper done. She only wants to connect with her father. She only stays there because she wants to get the paper done and because she wants money, right? Self-serving, that's what, what's in it for her. The mom never gave Brendan Fraser or Charlie enough answers about the school or anything like that. He kept She kept him away from her because she didn't want him to see how bad of a mother she thought she was, right? So she wanted to maintain her image. That's her self-serving. The missionary guy, I can't remember his name, is only around because he feels like he wants to save someone. He wants to save someone because it'll make him feel like he's not a bad person for stealing and for running away. Like he wants to, he wants to change someone's life, but he wants, to, he doesn't want to necessarily want to change someone's life for them. He wants to change someone's life for himself to prove to himself self-serving. And then Charlie ultimately is killing himself, lied to Liz about having all this money lied to go to the hospital everything just to have this money to give to to give to his daughter ellie because he feels like he that's the only thing he could do in this life that would be right because he felt like everything he did in his life was wrong i said in the trailer in the movie if there's just like one thing in my life that i could have done right or whatever it may be that's him self-serving to detriment of himself and others in my opinion, that's very short-sighted because he thinks them giving her the hundred, hundred, twenty, hundred twenty thousand dollars is the best thing he can do for her. When actually, the best thing he can do for her is use that money. It wouldn't even be all of it, but he could use a good chunk of that money to get better and actually be in his daughter's life, right? Actually, make a difference because money can't replace family. Money can't replace that connection that was missing for eight years of her life, right? He's gonna die. She get one hundred twenty k, and then what? And then what? And she just had $120,000. I mean, I thought that was really good. I thought that was really nice. I thought that was a, like a really good thing to put in the movie. I thought Brendan Fraser and everyone else did a good job. I really liked the movie. I'd give it like an eight. Um, this was good. I'll give this like a seven. And I'll give this like an eight. <laughs> so we'll give it like a, we'll give the whole thing a seven though. Cause fries is just a part of the meal. It's just like a side thing, right? But no, the movie was a uh, movie was good. I definitely suggest everyone to go try it out. I probably wouldn't watch it again because a lot of that movie made me sad just seeing like how he could become emotional and like him binge eating and then like crying and just like feeling so hurt because you gotta remember this guy is dealing with not only the trauma of dying of like being fat he just wants to connect he wants to get something that he lost a long time ago because of his own actions right so with that being said that was charlie's philly cheesesteaks pretty good uh, like I said, give it probably a 7 out of 10. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below of anything you want me to try out, any topics you want me to talk about. I'm down to do that. Check out the suggested videos on the side. And yeah, follow me on Instagram for sure review. Peace.